Hi, welcome to educator.com. Today we're going to be in this lesson, we're going to actually be covering adding e commerce functionality. And uh, last time we actually set up the server, this time we're going to actually add in um, some of the content management system uh, options you can actually do. And one we're going to particularly use is going to be uh, Cartweaver. And I'll explain there's another one out there that you can actually use. There's actually plenty of them out there, but there's only you know two good ones that I've actually have worked with. Um, and I'll explain the differences why. So in this, in this actual uh, lesson, you're gonna be learning what the difference is, what kind of options you actually have, and then we're actually gonna install Cartweaver into, um, as an extension plugin to Dreamweaver and how easy this works um, to set up all the directories um, and hierarchies of your files. And you're gonna see why this is gonna be so much easier to do this way and, and trying to do this um, basically by just hand coding all your stuff. So uh, there's a lot of shortcuts to this that we're going to actually do. So by using these plugins, um, it's going to be very beneficial um, to do. Do it this route than to try to do it on your own, okay? Especially if you're not a coder. Um, some of the options that you actually have is, you know, Cartweaver is a paid product. So if you're looking for something that has the most flexibility, it has, you know, a reputation to you know, with the best content for carts only, like uh, like shopping carts. You're going to basically design the whole interface, but it actually adds on to your website, which is a very nice feature considering, um, you know, some of the other ones out there that you could find, other content management systems, they typically uh, don't have a lot of flexibility for design. So they're very structured. You input the data in and it outputs the data. So you can't really, like, design around it. Um, with Cartweaver, you can, and we'll actually go to the website to see what this looks like here. So, www.cartweaver.com. Um, they specialize in just this type of work only. So, if you look, at, if you're looking for uh, programming language to actually use, they use, um, they make them for uh, ASP. Uh, PHP, which we're, we're going to be using, and Cold Fusion. So, if you're any of those languages you're familiar, or you have clients, or this is a business and you really want to get into web development for other clients, you can actually do all this, and um, very they're actually all the same. Once you learn one way, it's kind of uh, pretty much the same. And they have a lot of support groups in here in Cartweaver that actually help you um, with your code, um, which is very, very important. Um, I did talk about customer service being one of these big deals with companies and, and basically that's what keeps customers coming back. Well, it keeps me coming back to them because they actually take care of me very well as far as um, helping me go through and seeing why I'm having little issues with um, some of the programming, okay? Uh, but you can go in and if you just go into their site, you'll see, um, actually let me go to, well, yeah, here it is. So they have, again, the PHP version and they have uh, Cold Fusion. They do actually sell ASP still. So if you go into the site, it actually tells you a link where to go and actually you can actually still download it if that's the one you want to use as well. Um, PHP and ASP, again, I mentioned before in uh, early lessons, those are the two free languages that you can use. Um, Cold Fusion is a paid product uh, from Adobe. So if you have a, a Cold Fusion server or, you know, you got to set your own server through them. Not that you, you can definitely get a testing server like the MAMP um, for Cold Fusion and do all this and still test it for free. But if you're going to like, you know, want to spend the extra money for the hosting, um, you actually would buy it yourself because you want to host it off your own machines or you go to a hosting that actually paid for it and you just basically, basically pay them rent and space uh, to put your website and content on there, okay? But as you go through it, um, they give you a lot of examples, um, things to consider. It actually walks you through and it explains you know, a beginners can actually do this. So it's not, this is why, you know, when we go through this and, and we start setting up all the pages and we go step by step, you're going to see that, yes, there's a lot of steps, but they actually put together a, you know, like a 140 page document um, that walks you through everything. And that's the nice thing about it. It's very, it's that simple. And so as this lesson goes through, I'll explain some of the things it doesn't explain um, so that you're not lost, um, you know, trying to figure out these are the questions that I was able to ask or learn over, learn over the years about certain languages and why they had changed. Um, it still applies to, you know, even this program today, but it is a nice feature to actually have. Um, 
it, the retail for this, um, you know, I, I don't know if it's, yeah, 249 dollars. Um, it's not just for one website or, or one output. You can use this thousands of times and it's yours. Once you own it, um, you get all like a lot of the updates for free unless they do a big version update, then you would basically pay for an upgrade version. Um, it's kind of like software. And, but what's nice about it is I replicate my websites over and over. Uh, if I have clients or if I want to create new stores, I buy it once and it's a plugin. It just it's going to be part of my Dreamweaver toolbar, and um, I just I keep on creating. And I just keep designing differently. So, um, but pretty much the content management is the same. And you, once you do this one or two times, it's the third website, fourth website, fifth website. It's really easy. Um, if you were getting into this type of business, um, you can definitely go in and um, make a decent living creating this type of website because it's a big big business out there with online sales increasing in the millions yearly. Um, there's definitely an open market for this so um, well worth the product fully um, edible you don't have to stick with their version like their code um, you can modify anything um, 100% so um, they do recommend you leave the some of the structure intact because you will could mess it up and you'll see why there's hundreds of files um, that get installed um, when we do this so when we go through this right now and install this uh, you'll see what it looks like okay and you'll see the files that are going to go into it and um, we'll go back to the website that we started on and show you how that directory is created okay so this is our website here and you know right now these these two buttons don't have anything so this is what it's going to help us with um, we've already created the other um, pages here but the products pages that's what that's the real um, uh, stuff that we need and we need to connect all this and make sense of it but First step in doing this is obviously installing um, installing Cartweaver. The other thing, uh, the other this ZenCart one here is free, and um, I recommend go to ZenCart, check it out. Um, there is books on this one too, and if you're going to go this route because you just can't afford the, the two hundred dollars right now, definitely go the ZenCart route because it is edible too. Not as user friendly. The interface is a little bit. Um, not easy to understand so the having the book is very very um, um, very good the books not expensive I think there's two books out in publication right now um, I got them both because they the authors uh, explained them a little bit differently and then one explained something better than the other so um, basically um, it was wasn't that difficult to use but um, definitely not as friendly especially if you're just using Dreamweaver and you want it all there and just just to work uh, dream uh, cartweaver was way simpler to use as opposed to Zen cart um, but Zen cart's pretty massive it actually can do the job so don't um, think that because it's free it's not it's not just as good it's just uh, different workarounds you have to get through and the friendly easier version was cartweaver um, by far so when we go into this um, we're gonna take uh, when you download the files and you you pay for Cartweaver, they will send you a confirmation code through your email, and it's a direct download. They don't send you like disk or anything. Um, but when you get it, you're gonna see like this Cartweaver MXP and Toolbar MXP. These are the two files. This is where the actual software is at, and it's gonna load on. So you know we'll try it right now and install um, this right now. So let's see, it'll take its place. And when you have like the Adobe uh, stuff, you know, these windows, you know, they're, they're gonna come up a little bit different depending on what software version you're using. Um, but I go ahead and accept. And let's see, it's successfully been installed. Great. Um, looks a little different on different versions. So if you have CS5, 4, 3, or, you know, any earlier versions, this will still work with all of them. That, that's another thing, too. When they built this, they built it for the old versions as well. Uh, even back when it was called Macromedia, before Adobe uh, purchased uh, Dreamweaver and Photoshop. So they, they go way back. So this will just complete to install. Uh, okay. So just walking you through. It's fine. Um, let's see here. I want to install it. All right, so select to install. And we're just going to go through. I'm actually just selecting these folders here to put in the applications. Um, actually, I think it might be installed already. So let me see here. I think it did install. Okay, so we'll get out of this. I'm going to go to the other one and 
do the same exact thing. So cart the first one here is basically installing like it not in the toolbar as, a, as like buttons, but the actual um, properties in the I guess maybe the upper toolbar if you want to call it that. Uh, um, but this is the other toolbar that you can put in if you just don't like to go into like, you know, file and, you know, the directory. You can actually have like shortcut buttons that are actually a toolbar for Cartweaver. So I'll go ahead and hit accept. So as you go through and you um, see the, the Adobe Extension Manager, again, this depends on what you're, what you're using and uh, what version. They're gonna, this will be a little bit different. Uh, but once these are installed here, you're good to go. Um, one thing you're going to want to do is when you go into Dreamweaver, you're going to want to reset it. So um, you'll just close it, or if it was already closed, it's fine. But if you had it open, just close it and then reopen it. So what's going to happen is you're going to get um, you're going to get all this on the toolbar. Um, this is a dual screen right now, so it can't technically move over this right now. But you'll actually, um, when you look at Dreamweaver, you'll see your Cartweaver function. So um, I'll bring over some of the the windows that can come over, but unfortunately, I can't bring them all over. Um, if anything, I'll probably do some screenshots to kind of give you more of a visual of what it does look like. But as of right now, um, your toolbar and everything will, um, when we go through this, uh, I have some slides that will help you follow along. So when you install this, you're, you're set for, um, you're pretty much set for, for this portion. And just keep in mind that uh, with Cartweaver and you're, when you're, what you're using, it, it's it, as simple as it is, you know, it's definitely there's that great manual that we're going to be able to follow along and it's going to make a whole lot of sense. So don't be so discouraged when you see this. Um, it does take a, some steps to go through this to set up. So on the next slide here. Um,